Hello everyone and welcome. I know a lot of people like to shoot action videos when they're on vacation or just having fun. But it's kind of hard to do that with a large bulky camera or with a cell phone. So most people wind up spending a lot of money to buy a GoPro. Well today we're going to be taking a look at a very affordable GoPro alternative. I have here today the XTU Max Pro Action Camera that can shoot video in 4K 60 frames per second and also take photos up to 20 megapixels, all for around 190 bucks. That's right, you no longer have to pay the crazy prices of a GoPro to get excellent video and photo on the go. Plus, this camera kit comes with a ton of accessories as I'm going to show you. So let's unbox this puppy and see what I got this time. But before we do that, if you enjoy watching honest tool and product reviews plus helpful DIY projects, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you get notified every time I produce another product review video or DIY video. Alright, so let me unbox this puppy and we'll be right back. Alright guys, so when you unbox this puppy, this is everything you get. Now this is the XTU Max Pro Action Camera, available on Amazon, link in description below. At the time of making this video, this kit retails for $189.99, which is a lot cheaper than most GoPro cameras. And they also have a $20 discount coupon on their Amazon page, making it even cheaper than that. And if I happen to find any additional coupons, I'll be sure to put it in the description down below, so check that out first before you do anything. So what you get when you unbox this puppy? Well, you get an entire kit of goodies that you can use for just about anything. Your imagination is the limit. You get the camera itself, you get an underwater case to keep it watertight if you want to go swimming, surfing, whatever you want to do. You get a wireless remote control, you get a windsock for windy days, you get all sorts of straps and attachments and all this kind of stuff to be able to put it on just about anything. Whether you're putting it on your helmet, a bicycle, a dash cam, anything you want to do, it comes ready for just about everything. It comes with an external microphone if you want to use that on windy days or if it's difficult to record. It does have a built-in microphone, but you get the option of the external microphone if you want to use that. You get a USB cable to charge it up and to transfer files to your computer for editing and so forth. And all these attachments and stuff like that are GoPro compatible, so you can use it. If you have a GoPro already, all this stuff can be used with your existing GoPro. Now this camera is tiny. It should be about the same dimensions as the GoPro, maybe even smaller, depends on the one you have. But the dimensions on this are only 2.5 inches by 1.5 by 1 inch in depth. And it only weighs 2.7 ounces so very small very lightweight the warranty on this unit is one year and this camera uses the america Umbrella 822 main control cpu and the sony cmos for clear video and photo production it shoots video in 4k 60 frames per second and photo up to 20 megapixels. It has an adjustable wide angle that you can go as wide as 170 degrees, and it has a lot of different effects that you can do in the camera, such as slow motion, time delay, burst video, etc. It has a front and rear view screen for easy viewing and shooting selfies and so forth. This unit is powered up by a 1350 milliamp lithium ion rechargeable battery, which gives you a runtime of up to 120 minutes when fully charged up. That is a pretty decent runtime for such a small battery. This camera uses a micro SD card for recording, and you can use a micro SD card up to 256 gigabytes, giving you a lot of space for a lot of footage. Now, this camera is waterproof by itself as you see it up to 5 meters or 16 feet without a case or anything. If you want to go deeper, you can use the case that is included with it, and you can go up to 40 meters or 131 feet. So that is quite a bit of underwater work you can do right there. It has a wireless remote control that you wear on your wrist, and you can use this for shooting video or photo without even touching the camera. So that's very convenient. It also has voice commands, so you can tell it what to do very easily. It's all explained in the instructions, so you can shoot video or photo with voice command. All you do is say a command like, take photo, take video, anything like that, and the camera starts shooting. This camera comes with a very convenient XTU phone app that you can use for sharing photos or video with your friends. And this camera has a six-axis image stabilization for clear 4K 60 frame per second video. 
This camera, like I said before, supports an external microphone, which is included. That way, if you have any problem with wind or whatever the case may be, the external microphone can be useful under certain circumstances. It also has a micro HDMI port that you can use for showing your pictures and video on a TV screen or something like that. So this camera is really fantastic for any kind of action shots, whether you're bicycling, skydiving, surfing, swimming, jogging, running, using it as a helmet cam, a dash cam, a surfboard cam, anything you want to do. It's up to your imagination. You can do anything with this puppy. So let's load it up, give, let me get it all set up here, and let's start taking some photo and video and see how it performs. All right guys, let's take a little closer look at some of the accessories that come with the camera before we get a little closer look at the camera itself. First of all, let me show you, it comes with all sorts of straps and so forth that you can put together in a lot of different shapes and so forth. So you can create pretty much anything you want and attach it to just about anything. You got Velcro and stuff, straps right there. I'm not gonna put all this together right now, but you get the idea. You got a lot of variety that you can put together in a lot of different ways ways. Secondly, you got a lot of different mounts right there. I mean, this is your tripod mount. You can put all these together to attach them to all sorts of different things. That's your bicycle mount right there or, you know, BMX, uh, bicycle, that kind of thing, motorcycle, any of that kind of stuff. All sorts of different mounts right there. Here is your external microphone that you hook up to the USB port on the side of the camera. This is your windsock right there, which is shaped like the camera itself because it goes right around the camera itself. But you can still see the screen and all that kind of stuff goes through it. There is your underwater case right there. Here's your wireless remote control right here. And it has buttons for video or photo. And all you do is press the button and you see it lights up. It tells you that it's working and it tells the camera what to do. Very cool if you want to put that on your wrist and just, you know, do your little Dick Tracy kind of thing. Click it and get it going and off you go. So that's very convenient right there. So let's look a little closer at the camera itself. All right, guys, here we are looking at the back of the camera and showing you the little view screen on the back of the camera. And it's tiny, but it does a good job. It has good clarity to it. I don't know how it's showing up on the camera, but it has good clarity to it and so forth when you're watching it with your eye instead of through a camera lens. And uh, it has, it's, it is a touch screen and you can select a lot of different things. You can go into the settings tells you the uh, resolution of what you're shooting at. You can select video or photo and all sorts of stuff on there. Put the anti shake and all that up there. Tells you the battery level, all sorts of stuff on there as to what's going on in the camera. And you can see it is a nice wide angle. It is shooting quite a bit right there, very wide. And you can go to a super wide so it gives you an even wider view of what you're doing. So it's a very nice little screen on the back of the camera right there. And as you're looking at the camera, you see the side of it right there. There's your on off button right there. On the top here, you have the mode buttons and so forth, and you can select uh, basically to go from front to back, different screen, the front screen or the back screen, select different things on there. There's a side of the camera. That's a little door you open right there for your USB, HDMI, all that. That is the speaker on the side of it. The microphone is that little dot right up there. And on the bottom there, you can see your tripod mount and all that kind of good stuff. The battery goes right in there. The front of the camera, there you have a shot of the front of the camera. You have a nice little lens right there, very nice lens. And it has a little cap that you can put on the lens, very creative, nice little soft cap on there. So you can protect it and take care of it. And then you have your front screen right there as well. The mode button over here, it'll switch you from the back screen to the front screen and you can see right there, you have a little front screen that gives you all the information on that so you can shoot selfies and so forth and you can shoot whatever it is you want with that right there. So there you have it. All right guys, here we are at a local park and I'm showing you the little pond here and showing you basically how this camera looks when you're outdoors shooting some footage. And I'm just walking around here And here we go looking at a little turtle right here. They got little turtles here. Look at that. Look at the little turtle right there. Look at that little guy right there. Water doesn't look all that good, but what can you do? That's the way it is. And I don't even have the image stabilization on, and that gives you some idea how well it works when you don't even have that on.
right, so I just turned on the gyro stabilization and let's see how that affects the footage and how that looks. And as we're walking through here, if that affects any of the performance. So let's go down through here and get a little bit more stumbling here. And I'm running down this hill to give you an idea how this performs. And that gives you a rough idea how that looks. Let's run up that hill. And there you go. I just ran up that hill. We'll see later how that footage looks. All right, guys, there you have it, a review and demonstration of a very affordable GoPro alternative. I think this is a really cool little action cam. It's tiny in size, but has a lot of video and photo processing power. It brings a very inclusive kit that brings you every accessory you need to get yourself started. It also has a very affordable price at under 200 bucks. You can use this to shoot clear action video or photo when you're on vacation or just having fun with friends. Check out their Amazon page for complete details. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye for now.